So pain is another form of sensation, right? Then thought says, I must stop it. You don't say, wait, let me look at that pain. Right? Haven't you done all this? Let me, if I'm ill, which I sometimes be, I say, all right, wait till you feel, see what it means, what pain means, what pleasure means. Don't you do that, or is it immediately, doctor? What? Immediately a doctor. My God, what a craze. What? What's that? Hmm? He says that the whole response is pain and the doctor. Yes, sir, that's given interval. You understand? Not say, but I must go to work quick. Give it an interval, a time. And you learn a lot from that. So I'm saying, when you give, when there is time between sensation and thought, an interval, long interval, or short interval, you'll understand the nature of desire. In that there is no suppression, no transcending. <coughs> so, if you have a car, and when you drive it, <coughs> not knowing the mechanism of it, the internal combustion of it, machinery of it, you are always a little nervous that something might go wrong, right? But if you know, if you have dismantled a car, as the speaker has done, totally dismantled it, don't get nervous. <laughs> or something or other, when you dismantle it and put it together very carefully, know all the parts, then you're master of the machinery, of that machine, right? Then you, you're not afraid. You put it together again. You understand? So, if you understand the nature of desire, <coughs> the way desire begins, then you, you're not afraid of it. Then you know what to do with it. Even if you did, you did.